हेलो हे संकेत आर यू हेलो सर आई एम गुड हाउ आर यू आई एम गुड टू थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर एस्किंग हेलो एवरीबॉडी हाउ आर यू गाइस डूइंग टुडे गुड सर गुड फिट इट ऑन ग्रेट गुड I think we have to wait like a couple of more minutes and then we'll begin. Okay. So meanwhile, can you tell me that did you do your homework? Ah uh, yes, sir. It's all done. Yeah. Very good. Ah, uh, there's a uh, very small flaw. Uh, I I'll show you. Uh, no, not now. Not now. Okay. I will check it afterwards. Right. Okay, sir. Okay. Everything is working, but when it comes to the reverse sliding, one image is a bit li little flickering. Okay, okay. we can catch this. Yeah, what what yes, should sir. be the issue? Nice. Okay, Thank so, you. Uh, sure, absolutely. Okay. Hey, Kamalesh, how are you doing? Good to see you. Did you do the homework? So he has not just joined, and you know I have started firing at him. <laughs> Yes, Kamalesh, have you done your homework? Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. I'm very happy man today. So the agenda for the day is that today, in the first part of the lecture, I will teach you guys, right? And then you know we will check out afterwards, right? Towards the end. So I think I will spare last forty-five minutes for the homework. If yeah, let's see. Okay. So let's go with the flow of the lecture. Any questions so far about Express Server? So let me open your code. Give me a minute, okay? So meanwhile, people will join us also. Mm. So are you guys generally getting the uh, Express Server? Hello, guys. Yes, sir. Yeah, be very frank. You know, be very, very frank. If you are not quite getting it, you must tell me so that I can change my strategy a little bit, right? Hey, Kamilesh, are you getting the? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Express server. What about you, Manthan? Are you getting the express server? Server. Uh, I have to check that. No, I'm. My question is that: Are you following the express server? You know. What I'm teaching in Express Server, are you getting it? Yeah, ha, yeah, I'm getting. Okay. Any difficulty? Because it is a no. little bit different than the Apache Server, right? Yeah. It it is rather quite a bit different in the sense that we never happen to touch Apache Server, but yeah. here we actually build our own server, right? So it is a little different. So that's I was about to share my screen when I thought to get some people in. Okay, and what was the folder we were working at? It was Node two folder, right? Right, and, right. Yeah, I think so. So <clears throat> let me share my screen with you guys. Share screen. Share. Okay, so this was the code, you know, in its last stage, you know, when we left for the weekend. So what's happening currently is that uh, we have we have got these get routes, right? We have this get route, another get route. So this is like root get route. This is for common page. This is for my wall. This is for me, right? And this is you know if no route is found, and then we added a post route also. And post route is doing what? Whatever is we are getting in the body, it is console logging that body, right? It is console logging that body. and redirecting back to redirecting back to backslash right so once you redirect a page you know it means get request right so the browser will go to get this file right so redirect means this so uh in the command prompt right you know this thing that uh, mm, okay you know this thing that we have to run our express server from within 
our uh, code right so i have already you know changed directory to your folder so cls and you can see that i am in your folder and here i will say node app dot js right and a side note if you don't want to uh, you know run it again and again so you what can you do that you can use npm i for install and pm i nodemon right and then you can run nodemon app dot js and you know you need not to run it again and again right so have has anybody try uh, nodemon yeah you must give it a try you know so why not you must give it a try it is always good to give tries right okay uh because you know uh look for example i was doing something since early morning 6 o'clock and i wrote just three four lines of code can you believe this day today i was even stuck so but you know there's seven eight hours of uh, you know mind boggling and perseverance and uh, uh, debugging actually you know i learned so many things along the way right which i could not ever learn otherwise Right, so I happened to read so many articles, so many uh, specs. You know, I studied. So basically, the deal is that uh, this is how you should work. So node app dot js, right? And we press enter. Uh, and we, as we press enter, so uh, budding server is listening. Port three thousand, right? So we come back over here. in our browser and this is not your project because this is something i was working on this morning but since you know now your server is running at port 3000 so as soon as i will click somewhere maybe over here you will see that it is now your server right this is now your page and uh, what we have achieved so far is that if we put city over here maybe houston us we don't get anything back right we don't get anything back but at least we are very you know satisfied with this thing that this thing we are sending is actually going to the server end right so right now it says houston us right so for example if i come back over here and uh, uh, you know give some other city right for example ahmedabad india right so get weather right so you can come over here in the console and you can see that app dabad india has gone to the server right so we are we are you know happy to know this thing that uh, you know our queries or uh, whatever we want to send to the server they are actually reaching the server and server can detect them and you know work on them okay so stepping a little bit back we also saw this thing that we have got a dynamic nav bar over here right we have got a dynamic nav bar over here right so how is it dynamic it is dynamic because uh, it has javascript running and it senses that which uh, tab you are currently at right which page you are currently at and accordingly it gives us that navigation but what was something bad about it do you still remember anybody who remembers that what was something wrong with this kind of analogy whatever we have done so far it is not visible over here there is nothing wrong here kamilesh so there was something wrong you know <laughs> so you are looking at the code so i mean kamilesh i thought that i should tell you that there is nothing wrong wrong in this particular code right in front of you the issue is over here in the views folder and i told you that for now views folder is not you know any particular thing uh, it could be any folder but the work i am doing right now after this discussion you know it will make sense for views folder right so the deal is that look this nav bar and this all this stuff that this, this is sitting here the same stuff is sitting over here the same stuff is sitting over here and this is definitely a very pinching thing for any developer that he has to write the same code or duplicate the same code again and again this is not good if you are doing something like this you know there should be a little bell ringing in the left end of your head telling you that hey man you are doing something wrong right because you know one basic principle of coding is or development is that you know if your code is being used again and again it should be at one place 
it should not be written again and again. Why? Because for example, I have to change, say, for any reason, I want to change the nav bar. Now I have to go and change at all four places. I may forget it, right? One thing is that changing by itself at four places is not a good idea. The second thing is that uh, uh, even if I bother to do so, right? So I am taxed to do so. Uh, it may happen that you know you forget actually that you know where you did not actually make change, right? And that may result into a broken code. So what does it mean? It means that we need to have something over here by which we can template these things. Say for example, this is the header, right? And we want this entire thing to be placed somewhere, right? And this is the footer and we want this entire thing to be placed somewhere, right? At one place and from there you should be accessing it. Make sense guys? Hello? So for that reason, now the deal is that uh, Unfortunately, Node by itself does not have any built-in thing like this. Express Server does not have anything built-in like this. So as I mentioned to you that in case of Express Server, it is, it is like, like a Lego block. So you, they have provided you with Lego blocks and you have to, uh, bless you, you have to join these Lego blocks to, uh, to make the entire puzzle, right? So basically our templating engine for uh, Express could be one option is EJS. EJS, EJS stands for embedded JavaScript, right? So basically if you want to work in this area, there are so many small, small building blocks which you have to learn, right? Every day you will learn a new building block, right? So uh, let's go to uh, our browser and see that what is EJS, right? So I say NPM EJS, right? Uh, maybe Express, okay. So let's see what's, uh, what comes up. So NPM EJS.com, right? This could be a good website. So, so here you can see that, you know, this is a trusted uh, package. You know, for example, you can see that weekly downloads are like 5 million, right? And uh, and a lot of people are uh, kind of liking it, right? So basically this is a good package. It has like GitHub website also, right? So this is the way to install it. So npm install or i yeah uh, npm i egs right so this is how you install it and then as you want to as you want to use it as you want to use it right so for example if you want to use it here it should mention that how can we use it hmm. So these are, you know, they are talking about uh, tags, you know, various tags, we would be using various tags. And as I will use them, you get to know that what are these tags doing. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you is kind of missing here. So maybe there would be some documentation here somewhere. Let's go to the documentation, right? And if we go to, and normally, you know, about NPM getting started packages module. So which documentation it has taken us to? NPM JS. So this is not the documentation we want to see. This is NPM documentation. So so maybe explore, right? Let's see that what, what is inside the explore, right? Okay, so they are not offering it to us. Okay, let's go back. You know, in express area, so you have to, you know, EJS online at, let me see what, okay, so this is like some online website, don't worry about it. You know, you can uh, try EJS over here online, right? And 
they are they are saying various things that but one vital piece of information which i wanted to show you is missing here let me put that vital piece of information for you uh, so they have started telling you this thing uh, egs is equal to require egs so basically this is something which is not actually required to put because we need not to expose egx to our code egs would be working most of the time in the background okay let's go down sometimes you know uh, the documentations are utterly incomplete and we have to go to stack overflow and various other resources to find them out i just wanted to scroll a little bit for you so, okay let's see what is this uh tgis implementation okay let's go to this mm. okay now here they have the code you know and here they are telling you how to install and look this is the example they are giving uh but one vital piece of thing they are not telling you right let let me tell you that thing right okay i think this is enough of browsing and uh, let's go so anyways you can read it right so please do read it okay so let me come back to my code and first thing i have to do is control c cls and npm install egs okay so just see that there are no warnings right this is very important otherwise you know it may create some problem so yes so it is installed right so once it is installed let me take you to the code so i go back into my app and you can see this thing that package dot package dot json is updated and it has now dependency of egs also so let me take you to app dot js over here and here right after this express use of static routes and uh, uh, url encoded thing right so we can say let me let me get it from my recipe book so that we get to it pretty soon and don't forget me to let me forget to send you this so these notes are for you and i am going to send them for you, to you okay so yes one c one b right so it says app dot set view engine ejs that hey you express your view engine is ejs and now once you say that view engine is ejs your folder must be of the name views are you getting me so i made this folder from the beginning with the name views where wherever i am going i am putting my views but at that time it was not uh, critical that you name it views but now it is critical that you name it views right because now view engine which is egs is definitely try to find views folder and will try to serve views out of views folder right so let me comment over here 
that EJS tries to find views folder and serve views out of that folder. Right guys? Hello? So basically, you know, it tries to find views uh, folder and tries to find uh, and tries to serve views out of that folder, right? So let me go ahead and do one thing that where we were saying send file, right? So we are saying send file. So instead of saying the send file, now we'll say uh, response dot render. Right now the word is render response dot render and here no directory render spelling thing. Oh sorry, thank you very much. Uh, so response dot render no directory, right? No views folder because views folder is uh, default, right? No extension. Right, so basically it will try to find index file, right? Now the deal here is that we will rename this index file in, instead of index.html, it would be called index.ejs file. Do you think that I need to make a version of it or this is okay? Okay, I think it is okay, right? So we come over here and rename it, rename, where is rename? Rename it as index dot EGS, right? So it has been renamed as index dot EGS and let's close it. And now this file would be served, you know, by rendered by EGS, right? Let's see if it is working, right? And since I'm not installing Notebond, right? So, and the, it is also closed, right? So we come over here and we say node, app dot yes right your server is running at port 3000 come back in the browser go to common it is working go to home it is working right and this home file is served by egs not others right so let us uh, let us uh, change the rest of us them also into egs so we come here, me.html, we rename it also, rename me.ejs, right? And then we come over here, my.doll.html, you know, let's rename it, rename mywall.ejs, right? And then page not found, let's keep it like HTML so that you have reference in this project for HTML file also, right? So I come back over here in app.js and I change all these to render. So instead of set send file, I will say response.render. Right, and similarly here, I say me, uh, sorry, response dot render. And here also, I delete it. I delete the folder name. I delete the extension also, right? Save it and this, this one, I am keeping it like this. So let me just, uh, commented that uh, uh, this one was kept as dot html just for students reference right right guys so basically you know uh, we have got all of them served by ejs so let's see if it's working. So I will just control C, CLS, and I will rerun the server and come back over here 
and reload my pages. So now you can see their home page. This is common page. This is my wall, right? And this is me. All of them are being served, right? Common, right? Home page. And you can see that if I come over here and instead of common, I say anything, maybe EJS. So now you will see that the error 404 page not formed. So this is coming from HTML, right? Directly, without EJS. Right, right guys. Now the deal here is that, okay, I have converted everything into EJS, but the purpose for which I brought in EJS has not been fulfilled. And purpose was templating, right? That, you know, I wanted to template. So, or I wanted to make, you know, better reuse, re reusable layouts, right? That I have not been done, right? So let me do it right now. So I come over here in the views folder. Common medium. Yes, please. For common medium render EJS. Say it again, my dear. For common. Common, medium, yeah. Medium to EJS. Uh, my dear, I'm not able to get you. Can you repeat it? I'm sorry. Common yeah, dot HTML. Common dot HTML is what? Oh, it is still HTML. You want to yeah. say? Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you. So let me come over here and rename it. And it did not throw the error because I have not included any EGS yet. So EGS, very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. So nice of you. So let's see the code a little bit again. So common, oh yeah, common, we have not even changed it, right? So let's change it also. Nice, so this is great. Thank you very much, guys. So now everything is good. And now we want to template, right? So, so for example, we go back over here in index.ejs, right? And we start cutting. So whenever I cut my code, there's a little bit of fear in my head, sound there somewhere, hey, this is something wrong happening. Right. So I think twice, right? So think very, think very wisely as you cut, right? So control X. Then I do control Z, you know, just to check that everything is good, right? So control X, I have uh, severed it and I go back in views and inside views, let me create a new folder with the name partials. Partials mean partial views, right? So basically this is a typical word people use with reference to ETS, right? So partials, so this is a folder. And within this folder, let me create a new file with the name head.ejs, right? So this is head.ejs and guess what? I'm going to paste it all over here. Save it. Right, so head is over here, and once head is over here, so now there is no head, right? So if we uh, if we go over there into the page, so common has the uh, error, no such file or directory. Common dot html. Did I say common? Oh, okay, I did not restart it, right? So CLS. Right, and we come back over here and uh, go back. Right, and uh, the common. Uh, I think I did not completely correct it. So let me see where is the issue so, app. The, uh, yeah, send file, it. render, you know, we have to say render here. Yes, please. Yes, yes. Right. So I have to say render over here. Save it and go back. Control C, CLS. Right. Read in the server, Nodemon. I always tell you. 
So do something yourself. Okay, so let's see. So common is working. My wall is working. Me is working. Home does not have the head, right? Because we severed the head, right? So now we need to put the head back. So if we want to put the head back, which we have to, so here, you know, EJS started, starts coming into the picture. So this is typical, you know, this is typical tag for uh, EJS like this, right? And then we put, this is now special for include. So here we'll see, we'll say include. Include. So dot slash partials slash head. And you have to include it all inside the course, right? Okay, let's see if we have got the head back, right? So we come back over here, we reload it, and we have got our head back. Right guys? Okay, and similarly, we, we make a foot. So head, and then we have to have a foot. So we put all of this, we cut it all, right? We cut it all and uh, uh, where is, okay, we come over here, make a new file Let's name it foot dot EJS and foot dot EJS and let's paste it over here. Right guys, hello. Are you uh, yes, getting sir. me, everybody? Right, so basically, you know, this is the foot now and let me go to, let me close this foot and head also, where is the head? This is the head and let me, you know, just copy this and paste it here and say that this is foot. Right, and let me do it with all the files. Right, let me do it with all the, make sense guys? Right, so let me do it with all the files. So this was what, this was index, let's go to common and in common also, so we cut it from here to here, right? Here, uh, here we have to have the foot, right? Save it and we cut from here, cut very nicely. Don't leave any trace, right? So basically this is the common file now. And then we have, we have done this thing with index, right? Let's go to me file and Cut it up till here because nav bar is part of head now. And paste it over here. And this is foot. Okay, so common has done so. Includes have this thing. Uh, me has got the same thing. My wall, right? Let's do it here. Yes. Right. Just something is ringing in my head that am I doing everything all right? Right, great. So we have saved them all, right? If you know, the deal is that since we have not changed uh, app.js or we have not changed the uh, package.json file, so we need not to uh, restart the server, but just in case, you know, just for your satisfaction, right? Just that you, you get to know this thing that, uh, you know, we are working with EGS now. 
So now you can see that all the pages being served. Oh, the, I was telling you that something is off, right? So basically what I've done is that I have put add and paste a foot, right? Mm -hmm. So this is my wall, where is my wall? This is, yeah. So here I need to say foot. Yeah, I was kind of, you know, thinking that there is something I did not paste right. So uh, let me go, oh, my wall, right? And look, it has, it, it has started working, right? So this is me, this is my wall, this is common, right? This is home. So everything is working. Got it guys, any questions so far? No question, okay. So now the deal is that, you know, now we are, you know, getting comfortable with Express because now we have got a templating engine, right? And templating engine is doing what? You know, it is templating for us. So for the first step, we, we use the templating engine to, uh, to put the common things at one place, right? So this is, you can say that we built layouts with the templating engine. Right guys, got it? Everybody? Okay, good. So coming back over here, coming back over here. So the deal is let me close some extra files which will be coming in my way. So let's just close them. So that space is clean for us. So the deal here is that now, okay, we are, we are sending, you know, uh, you, we started from this thing that we, uh, we made an app, you know, which was getting weather from, uh, you know, uh, online weather map website, right? So it was getting weather and displayed, right? Then we made it in the form of Ajax, right? Then we, we made it in the form of Ajax. And for, in, for both of these two solutions, we observed this thing that we have to give the API key to the user and user. Did, do you still remember? Right, we have to have the, uh, uh, have to embed the API key into HTML form, right? And once it is there, you know, user can see it. And API key is something that which costs us money. Not now, but later on, right? So basically we don't want to give it to the user, right? So what do we want? We want this thing that that API key should remain with us. And if a user wants to get the weather, they must send the request to us, right? In the in this server which we have just built, right? And we forward we will forward that request to to the actual weather server, and we get that request back from them, and then forward that weather to you. Hello, everybody. Uh, right, so basically, you know, right now what's happening is that right now what's happening? Right now, once we send a city name to the server, it is reaching the server. Right, once we send the city name to the server, it is reaching the server. My question is that as a developer, guide me or tell me or help me to, to know this thing that what could be my next step you know, in development of this thing. Server should send the, whatever the request user wants to the like page, on the page. Like so-and-so temperature is. Say it, again. Say it again. Server need to send the request, sir. Like send the, what, what the request sent by the to client. Weather, weather, weather uh, website, on online weather map website. No, sir, on our page. In the Very page. good. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. So basically server should be able to send back some response to our web page so that we know that, you know, our local loop is working. Right. Very good, Kamalish. Right. So basically we get to know this thing that our local loop is working. Right. And once, you know, we are sure that, hey, local loop is working, then, you know, it is good. Right, guys. Okay. So we come over here. We say. We come over here. So instead of redirecting, we come over here, we say response 
dot render right response dot render so render which file right say we want to render home file right same file we want to uh, show the weather at index file instead of redirecting we, we want to render it right but this time we want to render it with some parameters so we come over here we say so we need to send a JSON, javascript object here we say that uh, anything um, response mm -hmm. message or you you can keep life same simple uh, response request dot body and within the body what was uh, the query name let me check how can i check i can go to my index.ejs file and here the name is q right so dot oh, sorry uh, where i was in app.js right so body.q right so q because weather website says that q so i'm you know kind of saying it q right but guys as i do this thing what happens is that that this route is going to send me an error because it would be expecting this now so here you know we don't have anything like this so here instead of that thing we can say null right because this is the same file now we want to embed this thing into the page so we come back over there in index.ejs file and here we create a division and name it weather division weather Debian or uh, weather just weather is good right and we are going to put weather here okay so how to put something over here so the deal is that we will say we will make an EGS tag so those people who know PHP I would like to tell this thing that this is like EGS for expresses like PHP Right, so PHP, but PHP is multifunctional over there, right? PHP makes the page also, and PHP runs the logic also, right? So here, you know, EGS runs the makes the page, whereas JavaScript by by itself or Node by itself basically runs the logic, right? So we come over here and we say, and here, you know, you saw this tag with with this hyphen right over here. This was for inclusion. So EJS so many tags, right? So let me introduce this equal tag, right? Where you can put the thing. For example, we can put here what we want to put. What we are sending. Response. Huh? We are sending response, right? So let's say something, you know, instead of response, let me, okay, let me say response for now. Okay, response, right? So we come back over here and we say response, right guys? So it is going to put response for us over here, right? So let's come back over here, rerun the server because we have made changes into uh, the server file, the app.js, so let's rerun it. Everything is running perhaps. So for example, we come back here on the home page, right? And we give the city. Right? You can see Houston US came back. Can you see? Right? So Houston US came back, right? Let's put something else. Maybe uh, London, UK. 
right? So then, then UK came back, right? So now you can see this thing that we, whatever we are sending at the server, server can respond back. Right guys? Got it? Very good. So once you have got this thing, right? So the next step is that once we get the request, we want to send it to the server, right? We have, we have to send it to the, that weather map server, right? Are you getting me? So now we want to prepare for this. Okay, for those who are kind of, uh, could not understand this thing, let me make a layout for you so that you can understand that what's happening right now. What is this thing? Ocean of internet. Right. Very good. So this is open weather web, uh, you know, API, right? What was the name? Open weather map.com probably, right? So this is their API, API of open weather map. Just give me a minute, please. Let me just give me a minute, please, right? Uh, I would be back in a minute. Don't go away. So guys, I'm back. I'm sorry for this interruption. So I was saying that this is open weather uh, map API, right? And maybe this is our server running somewhere. This is our server. Right guys. So say this is our client. Right guys, so I, we don't want to give uh, any uh, API to our client, right? Because API, we have paid for it. So we don't want to give API to our client, right? So what are we going to do? API key, sorry, right? So what we are going to do is that we will have the key over here. Right, hello? So yes, so our client will send request to our server, which he's sending, right? And what will happen that we will ask them that, hey, hey, you know, quickly, quickly tell us what is the weather, right? Because we have to serve it to our client, right? And as they will tell us, they will tell us, right guys, they will tell us, and as they will tell us, we will, we, will, we will respond back, right? We will send back over here. 
right? So this is something we want to make. Make sense? So, so basically which part has been made? This part, right? That this communication is going and it's coming back. But this part is a little bit tricky, right? So this is something we have to make. Any doubt about it? Okay, so coming back here. Uh, what should I open? Editor? Yes. So let's come back over here. Let's close it for now. So if we want to do any such thing, this thing is done by using a module with the name HTTPS. Right, with the module HTTPS, right? So HTTPS is a built-in module. So we come over here, we say require HTTPS. Right guys? So let's learn, you know, HTTPS that how to use it. I have it in my recipe book also, but uh, let me show you its uh, documentation also. So I say NPM, I HTTP. No, no, this does not need IE because it's built in module, right? NPM HTTPS module. Okay. So this is this documentation. Very big documentation, you know, definitely. Uh, big one and let me see that which tab you have to go to okay so we are already at it table of contents Okay. So it is telling us, okay, look, this is close, listen, right? Set timeout, keep live timeout, create server. So basically, you know, look, this is get. So HTTPS dot get. And now here you can take its examples, right? So basically, so how does it work? HTTPS dot get. And here you are going to give the URL. Are you, are you looking at it, right? Here you are game, going to give the URL, whatever the URL is, right? And then at this part from here, you have to give the callback. What is callback? Yeah, I have taught response. you this once. Yeah, yeah, please tell me again. In the callback, we got the response from the server. Once response comes back, so callback would be called, right? So basically look, so here it is telling that it HTTPS get, right? So you give the URL and then you have a callback function and it will execute when the response comes back and it has a vital part over here, which is on data. So once data comes in, right? So basically this process will run. And here in this process, you are going to send it back, right? Send it back to our client, right? And if error comes in, this will execute and here, you know, you are going to, uh, you know, send error back or the, sorry, we could not get it for now, try again message, you know, this will go from here. So this is good thing about Express that most of the time you will see that, you know, how to work with it. And, you know, this is not something they are blessing us with, but the deal is that no one, absolutely no one in this work can work without this documentation. Right, because every module, the designer has different analogy, different logic, and they have to clearly mention this thing that, hey guys, if you want to use 
our module, this is how we, you have to use it, right? And you know, you have to read through this documentation all the time, right? To understand that how to use a module. Are you getting me? Right, so this is very important. This is very important. Look, I am here with you for, you know, two, three more days. And after that, you would be all independent. And this is my, uh, you know, uh, this is my uh, best bit that I teach you that how to work independently, right? I don't want to be, you know, dependent on me or on my recipes, right? So basically, you know, you should be able to read through the documentation and work accordingly. Right guys? Okay, so having said this thing, so let's, you know, copy this. Now let me not copy it, right? Let me just copy, let, let me have this thing in mind that https.get, right? So we come back over here. So where should we write this code? So where is that? post, right, 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 right over here. So here we say HTTP S dot get. So the first thing you have to give is URL. So here it means that you have to give the URL. Right, here we are going to give the URL, right? So let URL is equal to this. And what else? And then we have a callback, right? We have a callback. So this is a function. I, I don't love, I'm not very much in love with the uh, arrow functions, right? Though I use them sometime, but I love this function function, right? So this is a function. And in this callback function, Let's go back over there. In this callback function, this is just console log, right? So I'm omitting console, console logs and I need to have this thing, right? Control C. So, okay, I need to have a response parameter here. And since this is also response, so we, so there are two responses. One is the response which we are going to send to our client. This is this RES. And one is the response which, you know, we will get from openweathermap.com, right? So there are two responses. So we have to distinguish between the two. So for this, I use the complete word response. Right? Otherwise, you know, uh, maybe your code will not get confused, but probably you will definitely get confused. Right, so basically we get response here and we paste here and instead of RES, we say response. Okay, something is off here. Uh, right, indentation is very important. So basically, you know, uh, so this is the response on data and this is okay. So would you like to use the, uh, this thing? So this is data. So on data, so let's use a function over here. So response dot on data. So have a function and this function is going to have data and we are going to process this data. Maybe, uh, right, so let's put this data over here and then Then we have the error also, right? So where is the error function? Uh, let me make it. So, so this is like, uh, what, what parent is this you think? This one, it, is, it was open where? Yes, you think it is this one? Yeah. Right, 
Yes. So, so it means that let's copy this. Right. And go back over there and which is our parent now. Where should we put? Uh, right over here. Yes. Good. So we have done good job here. So we can here tap tap right. So indentation is very important. Otherwise, code is a big mess. And as I mentioned, that I am not a very big fan of this. Uh, okay, let me use it right. So don't worry. Okay. So uh, so basically, we have made the basic thing, right? And now the basic thing, further uh, thing we have to do is to uh, put the URL together. Making sense? Hello? Right, so we need to put the URL together. So how to put URL together? Hmm. Uh, what was the URL? I have URL in, in one of my own folders. Let me copy that URL. Uh, where is my folder? Okay, let me have URL in one of your folders. Where is your URL folder? Okay. Okay, so... Okay. Okay. So basically city is equal to request dot body dot in your case it is Q probably. Hello? Right, so it is Q and unit is units is equal to metric, and this is you know API ID, right? Where is the API ID? API ID I have placed into a separate file, right? So let me just refer to that. So, so basically, uh, let me show you that file, okay? Let me show you that file and let me show you that how I'm going to get it, okay? So. Why I've placed in a separate file because I did not want it to expose into this video, right? Just, you know, this is not the case that this is very expensive or very secret kind of API because this is not an API key to NASA, right? But the deal is that this should be the general practice, okay? So we have to have this API key somewhere and API key is not in this file. Actually, let me show you my file once again. Look, const API ID, right? API ID required dot slash API keys dot JS. So I have placed it into this file and from where I am getting, from there I am getting it. Right? So I have a file with the name keys dot JS and I'm getting it from there, right? So let me copy this line of uh, line over here, right? And let me paste it in your file also. Now this file keys.js is not present in your folder, right? So now where it is present. So let's track it over there. So, So you are in node two folder, right? So basically you have to go one step back, right? So basically you are in node two folder, dot dot mean that you have gone to your parent folder and then go one step back further, dot dot. So now you are in your, uh, what folder? Uh, 
let me do this thing that let me bring that key file for you over here and then I will delete it, right? Or I will put it into uh, git ignore file, right? So basically dot slash keys dot js, right? So let me copy this file and bring it over here. Otherwise, you know, I don't know relative to these, you know, relative to each other where these folders are placed, right? So there might be like a very long route between them. Okay, so we come over here and we see keys.js, right? So, okay, look, I have done one more thing over here. Look, the API key is present in front of it, but I have tab tabbed it and placed it further towards right. So that if accidentally I open in front of anybody, right, it is not directly visible, right? Ankit, you think that this is not a good idea? It's a great idea, sir. <laughs> okay. No one can see. <laughs> yeah. So basically, you know, so, and look, this is important thing which I wanted to show you that here I am telling that cost API ID is equal to this. And here I am saying module.exports is equal to API ID. Module.exports, that this file is exporting this particular uh, element. This element could be a variable, a constant, right? It could be a function. It could be a class also. So it could be any, you know, uh, JavaScript object. So here, you know, you are exporting that API key and look carefully because look, coding, when it comes to uh, this point, like we are doing right now, this is not very simple and linear. So many things run together in harmony and then code starts working. If only when one single piece is out, you know, it will not work. So you need to know this thing that once we export like this over here, then we can, so coming back to app.js, we can require it like this. If, if we'll not export it from there, you will not be able to get it. So one file has to export it for other file to require it. Getting me guys? Right, so we come back here and this uh, keys.js file and we copy it. And we go back to node two folder. We paste it. Right, so key, you have got keys.js file. I go to your git ignore fold file. Where is git ignore file? Dot git ignore. And I say dot slash node two slash keys.js. Save it. Right? So I have said that, you know, ignore this. So this is kind of strange that it's not getting it grayed out a little bit. But let me save it and close it. Okay. Even if it goes to you, it's not a big deal for me. But the deal is that it should not go. It's not my email password, you know. Okay. Have you got the idea guys? So this is how I am designing the URL, right? So once again, URL is city and we have uh, units and then this is the basic URL structure, right? And here I'm putting the units. Here I'm putting the uh, app ID, right? And here I'm putting the city and city is city, right? Good. So once I have got URL and then, you know, I have got uh, other things also. So, okay, let me do this thing. So let me just, Okay, so once we have got this thing, now this is like full-fledged JSON object, JavaScript object coming back. 
So since it is going to be a JavaScript object, I do one thing in the index file. Where is my index file? This is the index file. This is the one, right. And here I say, let me do this thing over there rather in app file. Where is app dot yes, right. And uh, where is the response, right. So this is the data coming. So I come over here and I say data is equal to JSON dot stringify data. I just want to keep it as a string, right? For now, later on, I will segregate various parts, right? But for now, just to just for the proof of concept, I want to do this. Thing. Okay, so let's have our finger crossed and let's run this code to see if there is some error, right? If there is error, then we'll definitely rectify it. Otherwise, we are good. Okay. Come back over here, Control C, CLS. Okay. So, great. Server is running. Are you guys keeping your finger crossed? Thank you. You're a good man. <laughs> so we come back here. So Houston, get weather. Okay, look, we have got the data back from the server, right? Right, because this is something which is which is not by us, right? So this is coming from from the server, right? So definitely it has changed its shape quite a bit. And we have to see that what is this, you know, how is it going to make sense? This is a little bit unexpected, but let's see what have we got over here. Okay, let's do one more thing. Uh, let's console log data over here also. Okay, so so probably this stringify. What is this thing coming? Am I missing something here? Let me check. Yeah, this is something good we are doing. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that we are response on data and data. Let me double check, right? Just give me a minute and let me see that if I'm missing some component here, uh, mean stack. Other let me let me go over here and see. Mm. 
Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, this is what was missing. Actually, it is coming by itself in a string. So we need not to further stringify it. It is by itself. So rather we have to pass it. Right? Okay, yeah, yeah. So this is coming. Yeah, this is something missing. So we have to see this thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we come back here. So we need not to do this step. Okay, because it is coming as a string by itself. So we, we were kind of, uh, you know, doing something further trying to make a string and it was messing up. So let's go back here. Let's say Ahmedabad, India. Okay, now it is making sense for us. Right guys? So basically, you know what has happened so far? That we got a request from our client. We received that request. We sent it to the uh, openweathermap.com server. We got it from them and returned back to our client. So this return is very, you know, clumsy, not very good condition. Definitely we can make it good now. But the deal is that we are getting the communication through now. Right? Communication is happening. Right? We are getting a request from our client. We are sending it to a remote server API, API server, and we are getting a response from there. And we are sending that response back to our client. Make sense? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. So let us, you know, uh, beautify it a little bit. So we come over here. Let's close it. This belongs to you. Does it? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So once uh, this is done, let's do one more thing. Say for example, we we change our API key, right? So we say app ID. Huh? Let's see. Just, just to emulate an error is plus equal to five. We have just placed a five at the end, right? Just a random number, just to disturb the key. So key is now bad. And once key is bad, let's see what happens. Okay, and London, UK. Okay, now look, this is something bad. So assignment to constant variable, right? So basically, uh, this is something wrong, right? So what is happening? App.js line number 36, something is wrong. So we have to check this thing that, you know, our, okay, what is this? So line number 36 does not have an error by itself. But let's check, what does it say? Uh, at web print, API 36, column nine. Ass oh, assignment to a constant. So it is saying that don't assign to a constant, right? Error was this because it was const, right? So I say API ID two is equal to API ID plus five, right? And here, Instead, and I use let here and let's make two, right? So save it, run it again. 
let's see. I just want to see this thing that error is properly handled or not, right? So this is important. So we come over here, reload the page, resend, right? Okay, code 404 message invalid API, right? So basically we are handling the error also properly. Can you see this thing? Right? So I just wanted to check this thing that error has been handled properly, right? So error is being handled properly. For example, uh, save it. Uh, let's do one more thing. So we need to make a few test cases always, right? That our code is working. So we come here and let's test on the test case. So, so for example, city is a shower Pakistan. Now this is messed up spellings, right? City not found, right? So basically, uh, they they were unable to find the city, right? So basically, you know, our interface with the with the client and with the server both is working good. Are you happy about it? No, nobody is happy. Okay, so now we want to put this these contents in a in a beautiful way, right? So let's see how can we do it. So we come back over here. Let's you know clean up some mess from here. Save it. Okay. I was trying to figure out one more thing. Just give, let, just give me a minute, please. Okay, let me let me do one more thing. Um, so this was HTTPS. So question here is that is it possible to write this thing in here instead of over there? just want to give it a try right so so instead of putting it here if i just cut it from here and i say response dot this thing just want to test this thing, right? That if it is possible to help handle it like this also. So two dots are the response dot. Oh, okay, thank you very much, my dear. I appreciate your help. Thank you, right? So let's see if it is, it works like this also. Right, because for some reason I, I, would li I like this configuration. Okay, so save it. Clear screen and did I restart the server? No. Okay. Okay. So come back here and let's see if error handling is good. Right, so basically it works like this also. 
right so it is working like this also right so basically it is working like this i wanted to have it like this okay so so basically you know uh, this is great right and we come back over here Okay. So let's take a breath a little bit. Now the deal here is that this data coming over here. okay guys i needed to check your homework also you never gave me that heads up huh so let, let me stop for a minute over here and because this could be a good place to stop and then let me ask right and i will check the homework tomorrow right so let me stop here let me do this thing let me just send this code first get status Can somebody tell me, transpire this thing to me, that why this git ignored thing is not working well with us? What could be the issue? This uh, I think we need to commit the dot ignore file first. Later on, we need to add the other files to the staging. Ah, this might okay. Let's let's try doing it. You you might be right. So let me say this thing. That. You're right, I think. So git add dot git ignore. Git commit minus m committing dot git ignore. Right. Let's check this thing. So, okay, let's see this. No, look, this is still green. So it is trying to track it. And this is keys.js, it is also green. So it is also trying to track it also. So it has not, maybe there's something wrong with the with the paths where is the getting no file this is the getting no file spellings are good get ignore right dot slash node two so if we do this thing if we do this thing Instead of dot slash, we just use this direct path. And now we, okay. It's working, sir. Huh, it has worked? Yeah, because the node modules, uh, it's not being tracked. Where, where is, where can you see it? Oh yeah, On you can see two. that keys dot, okay, path was not good, right? Yeah. So now you can see that this is, this yeah. file over here, now it is grayed out. Right, and this also has been very good. Yeah, so this was it does not take the relative path, it right. takes the absolute path, right? So, yeah, this is the, the, the really a pain in uh, neck, you know. Some at some places, you know, you have to give relative path, some places you have to go absolute path, yeah. And this is always, you know, cooking in the mind that hey, we have to give work, okay? So, yeah, this was puzzling me, and uh, now let's say. Get 
add dot right get commit minus n uh, uh, completed the loop of communication right and not write entire okay and get push right guys so it has gone to you and you can have it thank you very much uh, who was that Prithvi, did you help me for uh, correcting the git file yes sir oh i'm happy thank you very much so let me stop share and uh, let me see that who is there and who is not there So Sanjana, uh, let me stop. Okay, Tanush. Okay, please stop. Shilinda. Yes, sir. Uh, Pridvi. Yes, sir. Bharat. Yes, sir. Muralidhar Adi? Yes, sir. Where is Muralidhar Adi? Okay. Right, right. Sankit? Yes, sir. Naresh? Yes, sir. Where? Yes. Naresh, I could not see you. Yes, sir. I'm present. Okay, great. Thank you. Manthan is here. Ankit is here and Kamalesh is here. Where is Pridvi has gone? Pridvi is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. And okay, one quick question that how many of you have not done the homework yet? You have not done it yet? Any issue with it? Today I'm working on it. Okay, please do it ASAP and I will check it tomorrow for sure. Today I, in the in the flow of work, I could not get a time to check it, but tomorrow for sure I will check it, okay? And it is very important that you show me some work and uh, I, I get convinced that you know how to code, okay? To get into this course, good grade, okay? Okay, then I'll stop here. If you have no questions, you can just uh, log out and I will see you all tomorrow. Uh, and uh, otherwise you can stay in this communication and we can have our office hours. Thank you very much. You have a good rest of the day. Goodbye. Uh, actually, I have a doubt in the assignment. Yes, my dear. Yeah, uh, I want to share my screen.